Today, I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. The United States is continuing to make substantial progress in our war against the virus. We grieve at every precious life that has been lost to the invisible enemy. But through the darkness, we can see the rays of light. We see that tunnel. And at the end of that tunnel, we see light. We're starting to see it more than ever before. We've held our rate, the numbers, everything we've done. We've been very, very strong on it and very powerful on it. Uh, you look at what's happening in other countries, Spain, Italy, United Kingdom, we're working with them. We're trying to help them, especially with ventilators. They've been calling a lot. They need ventilators so badly. 15% of counties within the United States have zero cases, and many counties within the United States have a very small number of cases. Large sections of our country are really looking at other sections and saying, wow, that looks bad, but they don't have the problem. I salute the American people for following our guidelines on social distancing. Even you people are so different looking out there when I look at you. Uh, their devotion, your devotion, is saving lives. Today, I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Everybody knows what's going on there. American taxpayers provide between $400 million and $500 million per year to the WHO. In contrast, China contributes roughly $40 million a year and even less. As the organization's leading sponsor, the United States has a duty to insist on full accountability, one of the most dangerous and costly decisions from the WHO was its disastrous decision to oppose travel restrictions from China and other nations. They were very much opposed to what we did. Fortunately, I was not convinced and suspended travel from China, saving untold numbers of lives. Thousands and thousands of people would have died. Had other nations likewise suspended travel from China, countless more lives would have been saved. Instead, Look at the rest of the world. Look at parts of Europe. Other nations and regions who followed WHO guidelines and kept their borders open to China accelerated the pandemic all around the world.